Hello, I'm Greg with Rommel Rights. Some of you may have seen the video we just put up recently on the Garmin Chronograph. We put this unit head to head against the Magneto Speed and Lab Radar chronographs. And those of you that have watched that video, you already know the outcome of that. And those of you that have not, I would suggest that you go over to our YouTube channel and give that a watch. Very interesting video as we use over a dozen different rifle and cartridge combinations to test each of these units right side by side, and you can see for yourself what they are all capable of. But one of the things that keeps being commented from guys is that the Garmin unit cannot give you downrange data. Like the LabRadar, for instance, it has this ability to give you a muzzle and then 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 yard range of where it's reading that bullet. And at those different ranges, it gives the velocity, obviously, when it actually collects the shot. Here's a number. Mm. Psych! That's the wrong number! Oh! Guys are upset because you can't do that with the Garmin. Or can you? Like, put the Garmin at 50 yards and just clamped it to my target backer at 50 yards and just launch some rounds past it. Now for this video, I was using the 7PRC Primal. It's the same rifle that I used at the very first test in the previous video. I'm shooting 166 A-tips out of a 22-inch barrel. You can look at the launch velocities in the previous video, and you can run the numbers on a 166 going that fast out the muzzle through a ballistic computer, and you can see whether or not it matches up with the predicted numbers that I'm getting off of the Garmin here at 50 yards. Now obviously it goes without saying here that the Garmin is not triggering acoustically. They actually have come out and said that, that it's not triggering acoustically. Now they haven't really come out and said that yes for sure it's just triggering off of radar. Um, so you know we are not a hundred percent sure how this thing is reading back. But the idea here is that it's shooting a radar pulse out the front and it's reflecting off of the bullet and that reflection is coming back and the calculation of how long that takes is basically telling us how fast this bullet is going. So it'll read it at one point and then it'll read it at another point and based on those calculations, it's, it's telling us the velocity. So you can get downrange performance with the Garmin. You just need to think about it a little bit. And we put this thing down range and you shoot rounds past it and you can get your velocity. Now it doesn't come without risk obviously because a straight round, you'll hit the thing and that'll be the end of your $600 chronograph. Now, I might be dating myself a little bit here, but those of us that have been doing this for 20, 25 years, we already know all about that because uh, back in the day, the ballistic coefficient numbers were just not that good. <laughs> so if you wanted actual flight data, we had to put chronographs down range and the skyscreen styles didn't have much in the way of computation in them. And they didn't even log your shots, right? You just had the screen. And so if somebody had to be downrange, every time somebody shot, you'd run over there, write down the number, run back behind cover, and then they'd shoot again. And <laughs> it's all very interesting, and uh, no doubt there was plenty of chronograph casualties depending on uh, what distance you were shooting. So while it would be better to have a uh, multiple yardage reading from zero, maybe we'll see something like that in a firmware update down the road. But in the meantime, you can get your velocity. Now, because of the way this thing works, you want the front of this perpendicular to the bolt's flight path, and you want to keep this away from a backstop or a target backer or something, right? This is shooting radar out, so if there's a big object out here that's reflecting a whole bunch of radar, it's going to blow this thing out, right? There'll be too much white noise for it to detect the bullet. So as long as you're aware of that and you use it accordingly, you can get downrange data using the Garmin. Now, the, far the farthest I tested it was 100 yards, and then two I didn't test it with something subsonic like a 22 long rifle. But hey, if I do all the work, well then you guys will not, never have any fun. You'll never have anything to go do on the weekends, right? <laughs>
I'm just guessing here, but because of how unbelievably easy to get along with this thing is, uh, you really probably wouldn't have any any difficulty setting this up. So you can grab yourself a, a, a tripod and mount it to there. Um, I used a really right stuff plate on here, and it's got a provision to just screw um, the factory tripod. There's a there's a tapped hole in here, and so I'd like to see really right stuff come up with a, their own dedicated Garmin plate that has a provision for us to uh, screw the factory tripod in. Because this thing is really cool. A lot of times I'll just grab the factory tripod and I'll just set the thing up and it works fine. Other times I break out my full size, really right stuff tripods and clamp it into that or any of my other Arca camera arms and gear that I've got laying around here. So maybe if you're interested in the same thing I am, we want really right stuff to create a mount for this thing or a plate for this thing, Arca plate, let's go ahead and hit them up on Instagram. Uh, I'll be sure to tag them on here or you can just give them a call and say, hey fellas, you know what I'd really like to see is a Garmin Arca plate. I just wanted to do a short one for you today to just show you guys some more of the capability of this little Garmin chronograph. And as I have fun using it and as I um, find things that it can do, I will continue to share that with you guys. Um, so thanks for watching and God bless and have a wonderful new year.